Well, this is our prototype uh, motor here. You can see that that's the Renishaw encoder right there. It's an absolute 26-bit. That's the encoder ring right there. You can see the magnets and coils are right there. Here's a set of coils that uh, Joel made. Um, that's what we're using. And uh, this is the declination, or in this case, altitude. It's all pretend. This is a uh, brushless, uh, the latest brushless uh, controller pro prototype. And um, this is the BIS interface card. This is going to go actually on the CPU, so there won't be a separate card in the final version, which the next one will be the production version. And um, let's see, let's find the hand pad here and let's move the. I have the acceleration set to nearly instantaneous just for fun. Here's the altitude. And now we're going to control it with the software. Let's see, here we are, we're, this is this, the little pointer where the telescope is. We're near the zenith and it's an Altaz telescope. We have it pretending that's what it is. We're going to click on this planetary. We'll do a go to. Now watch the little circle. Did you see that? Slow and And did you hear that? Now we're going to click right over here so it'll go all the way around. Go to. There it goes. Okay, so now we're going to watch the motors this time. So I'll click on this planetary nebula. Now we're going to watch the motors. Here we go. That's kind of cool. Okay, let's see. If, um, I did measure the torque, and I think it has about capable of about 40 newtons. By now, I have not enough voltage on it, so there's probably about 20. And I can barely turn it. Comes right back. Thought you might be interested in that.